For more than three decades, John D. Miller has kept a low profile, but evidence found in a trash can near his home led police to a trailer park in Grable. His neighbors shocked to learn that April Tinsley's killer may have been right under their nose the entire time. A crack in a decades-old case. Gives me chills up and down my spine. April Tinsley's suspected killer, John D. Miller, taken into custody Sunday morning. His home, a stone's throw away from Don Mueller's trailer, where she lives with her young daughter. I saw cops everywhere and I was just really um, devastated. I didn't know what was going on. It's Fort Wayne's most notorious cold case, April 1st, 1988. It's the last time anyone saw eight-year-old April Tinsley alive. Days later, her body found in a DeKalb County ditch. She was molested, suffocated. Her death ruled a homicide. A forensic exam of her underwear revealed DNA from an unknown male. But it wasn't until 30 years later that police were able to find the match. Investigators collected several items from Miller's trash can located near his trailer in the 13,000 block of Main Street in Grable, including three used condoms. Authorities learned that the DNA from those condoms was consistent with that of the unknown man's DNA found in Tinsley's underwear in 88. I let my daughter play right here in my yard or across the street and by the softball diamonds. And as a child for myself, my cousin and I used to run these streets. Miller was called in for questioning, and when asked if he knew why the police wanted to talk to him, he replied, April Tinsley. According to a probable cause affidavit, Miller admitted to abducting Tinsley from Hoagland Street in Fort Wayne. He would said he took her to his trailer and had sex with her. He reportedly told police he choked her to death so she would not report him. Then he dumped her body the next day. I would drive every morning from work and I would see him get out of his car. And I couldn't imagine that it would even be him. Had no idea. Miller is now booked in Allen County Jail. His first court appearance will be Monday morning. In studio, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.